Hello children, in this video we are going to learn how to subtract a three digit number from another three digit number. Okay, so let's start. Let's say you have given 236 from which you would like to subtract or take away 123. So you write 236 in one line then you write minus 123 and ensure you write digit below digit the ones position below ones position tens position below tens position hundred position below hundred position that way it becomes very easy to subtract so you, you write both the numbers you write a minus sign and below the minus sign you write underline sign and then you are trying to find the answer See, you had 236 chocolates and of this 123 chocolates are already consumed. Say you had a birthday party and it's already consumed and you want to find out how many chocolates are pending, okay? Or remaining with you. So you do a subtraction. So how do you do it? You start from one's position and do subtraction single digit at a time, okay? So you're breaking the problem into smaller parts. So three digit minus three digit you are doing it just like single digit you just write numbers one below another and start doing one after the other but remember you start from ones position then go to tens position and then goes to hundreds position that is your order of subtraction is from right to left remember you don't do subtract like this you subtract from right to left okay so let's start six minus three is 3 then we go to the next position 3 minus 2 from 3 you take away 2 you have 1 2 minus 1 is 1 isn't it simpler it was such a big number 236 ch chocolates and you wanted to remove 123 which are already been consumed you just write them below subtract one digit at a time and then you got the answer you have 113 chocolates still with you after the birthday party is over mm, wouldn't it be go so much fun you can now keep eating it with your family every day isn't it okay so let's take another problem you have 675 and from that you would like to subtract 249 so from 675 you want to remove 249 so you do the same way write 675 minus 249 ensure digits ones position is matching with ones tens with tens hundreds with hundreds okay you write the underlying line I will start again and remember what we learned in the last video okay 5 minus 9 Hmm, how do I remove 9 from 5? Hmm, 9 is bigger than 5. How do you do it? As we learned in the last video, you do something called as borrow. The 5 tells to its next neighbor, which is 7, or the left neighbor, Hey 7, can I borrow a 10 from you? 7 says, sure, I can give you. So 7 is a nice neighbor. He says, I'll give you 10, but I will be reduced by 1 so 7 becomes 6 and it gives 1 to it so now the 5 became 15 7 cross it to 6 and it because 7 has lent a, a 10 of sing a 1 to 5 you write 1 here so it becomes 15 and this becomes 6 correct so now from 15 you can remove 9 right 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, 6. 15 minus 9 is 6. Now you move to the second position. Now you start doing subtraction. Remember, you don't subtract this number by this number. You only subtract the new number because 7 is now reduced to 6 because it has already lent a 10 to its neighbor 5. Okay? So now you subtract from 6. 6 minus 4. Not 7 minus 4. 7 is gone now, right? 6 minus 4 is 2. And then you move to the hundreds position. Now you do 6 minus 2, which is 4. 
and you got the answer 675 minus 249 is equal to 426 isn't it easy let's take another problem this one is further complicated let's see why but the steps are going to remain exactly the same that is the beauty of maths so 712 minus 589 we would like to do so we write 712 minus 589 then you write underline start digit by digit going from right to left 2 minus 9 I cannot do it because 2 is lesser than 9 so what does 2 tells 2 tells to its neighbor can you give me a 10 the 10 says sure I can give you but once I give you I will reduce by myself by 1 so 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and because it has given a 10 2 became 12 now from 12 you can easily remove 9 12 minus 9 is 3 got it now you move to the next position now this one is crossed because it's now no more 1 it is become 0 now from 0 can you remove 8 no right 8 is bigger than 0 right so what do you do you do exactly the same thing you did at the ones position you do it here 0 tells to his neighbor 7 hey 7 can you give me a number so he says sure I can give you but then I will be reduced by 1 so 7 becomes 6 and it gives a 1 to its thing so 1 0 becomes 10 now from 10 I can easily remove 8 from 10 I remove 8 9, 10 so it becomes 2 right 10 minus 8 is 2 now you come back to the hundred position don't look at 7 this is crossed it has become 6 so now do from 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 isn't it easy you are basically whatever you did the concept of borrowing here at the ones position you did exactly the same thing at the tens position and it got done right but remember you have to cross this thing otherwise you'll get confused you will continue to use those numbers let's take another problem okay 845 minus 798 so 5 minus 8 you start from ones position 5 minus 8 we cannot do because 8 is bigger than 5 so 5 tells to his neighbor can you give me a 1 says sure I can give you then I become 3 cross the 4 and you become 3 and the 1 comes here so 5 became 15 10 plus 1 10 plus 5 15 15 minus 8 is 7 you go move from 1's position now you move to the 10's position start doing again the same thing 3 minus 9 don't look at 4 4 is crossed 3 minus 9 can I do that Hmm, no because 9 is greater than 3 so again do the exact same thing 3 tells to his neighbor 8 can I can you please give me one from you say sure but then I will be reduced from 8 to 7 and I gave you a 1 so you became from 3 to 13 13 1 3 13 from 13 I can remove 9 13 minus 9 is 11 12 13 4 done now you move back to the hundred position this is crossed you look at 7 7 minus 7 0 you are done the problem answer is 47 so this is the way you can continue to do the borrow logic at any place you find that your number from which you are you are subtracting that is greater than just do the borrow from the neighbor to your left and reduce that neighbor's value by 1 you got a 1 and then you can easily subtract okay so this is all for now children do more practice this will look complicated but you can do it very easily if you do a lot of practice okay till then bye bye